welcome back to our channel. I'm Jody. I'm Lily. Today we are doing a Life Lately video and we are going to go into Lily's recent tonsillectomy that she had at 21 years old. I had my first issues with my tonsils back in high school, but anytime I got sick with allergies or a cold, my tonsils would basically touch and I couldn't eat anything, swallow. Like so much pain. It was so bad. I had reached out to my primary doctor just asking about my tonsils and if she could take a look at them because I was sick at the time. When I went to her, she told me I had Crater's tonsils and that they were huge and that she would refer me to an ENT. I went to the ENT doctor, he looked at them for probably five seconds and was like, if you want them out, you can get them out. This is my journey on getting them out and my recovery. Good morning, it's tonsil day. We are waiting to be admitted. Just got a dragon. We just got into our room. And I'm gonna flip you around and show you Miss Lily. There she is. This is our room. And we are waiting to be brought back. Lily is back in the procedure and I was able to find a Starbucks. Well, they serve Starbucks at the little coffee shop in the hospital here. So I'm waiting for her. They told me they will update me with text messages and it should only take about an hour start to finish. So I am totally shocked. I just got a phone call from the doctor. She is done. I would say that took maybe 30 minutes. By the time I got out to the car and got my coffee, it hasn't even been 30 minutes since I've been outside. Very excited. She did great and we're gonna go see her. We are in recovery and she has to wait for one hour and then she gets to go home. And she is talking and looking amazing. She's going home. It's only 12.15. So we'll see you at home. Here's Lily at 910. She bought this, can you turn your head? So she bought this ice pack. It has ice pack that's inserts. Oh, she's gonna show you, okay. Four packs. And so these you freeze. Two go in and okay. then two stay in the freezer and then you just alternate. So you got this on Amazon? Yeah, for $13. Oh, we'll link this then. I will link this below. We also bought this ice pack, which is very good. It's got gel beads and it is felt on the backside. So when you freeze it, it feels good on her neck. So this goes on her neck. This goes around her ears because the pain, turn your head, honey. The pain from the tonsils like travels up. So you get ear pain, neck pain. There's our Disney mug, refilling the Disney mug with water. Not her favorite, but it's very helpful. Mm -hmm. Shelby's helping us babysit. <laughs> Day. Day, well, after surgery. day after surgery so first full day how's the pain worse than yesterday pain is bad she's not really talking too much you're getting more words than we have a little bit of a fever which they said was normal and really just lots and lots of rest day friday so this is day three of recovery and she's up and we're gonna go for a quick car ride we are at the Harris Teeter and we're gonna try to get a tall Frappuccino for Lily. And Shelby came for the ride. Say hi. Hi. She wants to show everyone that you can go out like this. You can wear your head ice packs and go out in the world and it is fine and everyone goes through things. So we're gonna go in the store and get a tall Frappuccino. She's gonna look just like this. And then we're gonna go to Michael's and she's gonna do a little cricketing this afternoon if she feels up to it. All right, in we go. Spreading some magic. Whoop. Love this shirt. Oh, look at that. From Starbucks, skinny vanilla latte with extra cold foam. Lily got a Vanilla bean cream frappuccino, double blended to help with her pain and ice her little tonsils or lack of tonsils. The colder the better. The colder, the better. And we're off. Cheers to Lily's, <laughs> Lily's outing. We're about two hours into our outing and She's plummeting. I thought you said vomiting for a minute. I was gonna be like, get out of the car. She's getting warm. 
We stopped at Panera and we're gonna get a mac and cheese because that is one thing, good tip, if you're not into the cold constantly or you're sick of it, mac and cheese has really worked well for her. At so room temperature, not at hot. At room temperature, yeah, not hot. We're gonna, we're gonna get um, a, ma a, a Panera mac and cheese and take her home to rest. Day four post-op, it is Saturday. Lily still has ear pain. Neck pain. And she had a good idea to get these. Look at this. Cozy coloring. And a whole pack of pens. This has kept her busy. Along with TV. And bashful. Just an idea if you need something to give somebody. Adult coloring books work good. cold bag with ice packs in it for bedtime so that in the middle of the night when Lily wakes up just so that she doesn't have to call anybody or get up we have all fresh ice packs in her cooler bag which she keeps next to her bed so we're gonna do that right now another thing I do three little chewable baby or kids Tylenols for when she makes up in the middle of the night and she gets her strong medicine before bed, but we only do 10 milliliters, not 15. Day five, today has been the worst yet. She's not loving it. I have not moved. She's not moved. That's about as loud as she can speak. And she crawled off from her clinical tomorrow She's supposed to go in from eight to five. That is not happening. This isn't my trick, I can't speak. I'm sorry? This isn't my trick. <laughs> so, <laughs> she is taking her nighttime medicine, her hydrocodone, which is really strong, made her sick the first time she took it, or yeah, the first time. That's the ear pain. So what she has realized is if she drinks two Danimals, gets some good yogurt in her stomach, she tolerates the medicine much better. The pain is really bad. It's very hard for her to swallow. This is day five post-surgery. We just don't anticipate her feeling better. Hopefully by Wednesday, she is up and around and this worst of it is over. We are headed to bed. Time for the ice packs. It's Monday, day six. Tomorrow will be a week since she had her surgery. And today the pain was the worst. Last night it got really bad. Today it's really bad. Have you been off the couch? Mm -hmm. No. She doesn't want us to talk using the stronger pain meds. She's going to try to go to class tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to say to the camera? So I'm on recovery day number seven and I would definitely say that this day is my turning point. I have done a lot of research as far as what day is the turning point for people and it's so different for everybody. I've seen day five, I've seen day 11. Um, for me, I would say day seven. I only say that because my ear pressure, it's still there, but nothing as bad as last night or the day before. Swallowing has gotten easier throughout the day. I just had a little go-go squeeze and it went down pretty good. Still painful, but nothing, like I said, nothing like yesterday. Also, just a quick reference, I have lost about a pound a day. So if you guys are wondering about like, you know, the whole weight thing and like not eating, I have lost a pound a day. I just felt better today. So hopefully tomorrow I'm feeling even better. Today is day eight recovery. Um, I'm actually on my way to clinical right now. It is 7.32 in the morning. My voice, 
It's still a little rough. It's a little bit hard to talk. I'm gonna go to clinical and I will vlog you guys after clinical to let you know how I did. Okay, I just got done at clinical. You can see the lines on my face from my ice pack. Here it is. I was wearing it on the way home and I also wore it at lunch. I packed myself a little cooler, just like my mom has been packing me for nighttime, just with all my ice packs and everything in there in case I need it. I needed it today. All the talking and everything this really makes my ears and jaw like sore almost. It's like the weirdest feeling. I am so excited to lay down. My body is so tired. Also, it doesn't help that I am thriving off of two animals and baby food. So today is day 18 of my recovery. I am finally feeling back to myself. Um, I can still feel my scabs and stitching back in my throat. I have been starting to ease back into eating normal food. Um, it doesn't hurt to swallow anymore. It just feels like a little sore throat. But these are some of my necessities, tips, whatever you want to call them for getting through an adult tonsillectomy. I have a little paper here to remember everything. But number one, I only saw one person say that they used this and it was really helpful for me. It was a baby toothbrush because you cannot open your mouth after you get your tonsils out. It, you can literally open it like halfway. So I could not imagine trying to get a normal sized toothbrush in my mouth, trying to brush my teeth. You really wanna brush your teeth because you smell and you feel disgusting. So a baby toothbrush really helped because it was little and it was able to get back there. Another thing I had right by my bed every single night was a humidifier. I had it for probably the full two weeks. Um, reason for this is because you sleep with your mouth open and if you're not breathing in watered down air, it will get super dry. You will wake up in so much pain in the morning. You won't even want to swallow. You won't even want to drink water. So the humidifier really helped just to keep the air I know some of you guys are gonna hate this, but moist um, for my throat. Another thing that was really helpful, along with many others, um, Danimals was the really only thing I could drink, along with water. I really recommend keeping your water right by you at all times. As much ice as you can in there, you want it as cold as possible. Uh, but Danimals were my lifesaver. I had two before my strong medicine because I didn't have anything with my strong medicine on night two and I woke up vomiting. I am still to this day drinking like two a day. You just get used to it and it just feels good. Another thing that was really helpful, I looked on Amazon for this. It's an, a head ice wrap. Um, it was used for wisdom teeth is what it said, but it really helped with my tonsillectomy because you get really bad ear and jaw pain when your tonsils are healing. The head ice pack was really helpful. I think I wore it for probably two weeks straight and my mom also had packed me a little cooler with the head ice pack and all other ice packs in there for nighttime. So when I woke up in the middle of the night, just dying for ice on my face, it was right there by my bed. The last tip that I have on here, my mom and I actually found these at Walmart dissolvable Tylenol. It really helps just so you can take your prescribed medicine for that few hours and then you can take Tylenol so you're not always taking that hard medicine. We found dissolvable Tylenol berry flavored at Walmart and it just really helped. Um, also, it just melts in your mouth so you don't have to worry about chewing anything. It really even hurts to move your tongue around. So just having it being able to dissolve in your mouth and then just like go down was really helpful. Thank you so much for following along. If you have any questions or comments or you have a few tips and tricks of your own, please leave them in the comments below. We would love to hear them. I'm just gonna finish by saying, Lily did go back to work and school, which you can see in the video, but take your time recovering because I would say today and maybe the past couple days is really when she started feeling more herself and we are almost three weeks in. It takes a really long time, so just take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon. Bye.